Advent Devotion for Monday, November 28th, 2022. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today is, Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. That is Isaiah chapter 40 verses 30 to 31. And the doctrinal text is, You then, my child, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. You then, my child, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And that is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. As we enter this Advent season of the church year, let us hear what God will say to us through today's watchword. Now, Advent prepares us, yes, Advent prepares us for Christmas and the birth of God's Messiah, Jesus Christ. Many of us are filled with hope and anticipation. And I say that after a two-year COVID lockdown and with many of the health protocols now suspended, yes, we are ready, many of us at least, are ready to celebrate we have regained a sense of freedom to really celebrate. And so it is time to celebrate Christmas and the birth of Jesus Christ. There are several traditions like making the house look and smell brand new as we wait for Christmas Day and perhaps a visit from Santa Claus. Today's watchword, however, cautions us to pause and examine our life from God's perspective. The prophet Isaiah suggests that life may be looked at from the perspective of the athlete. Now, athletes are young and condition their bodies to withstand the rigorous training needed to reach the finals of the competition. Isaiah says, Even youths will faint and grow weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. That is verse 30. Like the athlete, the Christian perseveres despite many failed attempts and other setbacks. However, completing the life that God has mapped out for us is the most important aspect of life. Let me say that again. Completing the life that God has mapped out for us is the most important aspect of life. At the end, we need to be able to say with the Apostle Paul, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. That is 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. Let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, our life is often interrupted by unexpected setbacks. But during this Advent season, help us to focus on Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you for Advent that reminds us that Jesus is coming again. Help us to be ready when he does come and calls us one by one and name by name. It's in his name we pray. Amen. <music>